something like that we deserve as young people. There is 30% of the youth tenders for the young people, for the youth, for the women and the people living with disability. 30%. That goes to the national government, to the county government, to the ministries. Where are these tenders? Who are given? Can we have a list even from the ministry? Can we, can we have a list from the county government? How many vijana mbokomba wamekua kipata? Hizi tender. Hizi tender, 30% is a vijana, dizo hizi. Na how and vijana tumuapatia. Can we have that list from our governors? Because when we say that we have bad governance, it's, we, let's not just focus a lot on national government. We have devolution. What did the devolution come to do? I mean, devolution came to bring solutions on governance, to trickle down to the village. But is that done? Let's not focus our eyes so much on national government. Let's also focus on the county government. Because if it is Ruto who has failed today, amekuwa failed na nani? Na CS, na PS, na governor, na senator, MCA wenye ulichagua, ameku fail. What's up everybody? This is Kenya Online Media, your number one source of entertainment news. My name is Eva Nyaga and my guest right about now goes by the name Waridi. And I know you've seen her on social media because there's a press they did recently with other young people. So we just want to find out what that was about and her take on the current state of affairs because she is a youth leader. Waridi, welcome to Kenya Online Media. Asante sana, shukran sana. I'm so humbled yeah. to, have, to be here. Yes. Eh, Raisi wa vijana. Mm, Ndiyo. Okay. Ndiyo. Rais wa vijana. <laughs> so um, kama Rais wa vijana, kwa nini vijana wanaitanga Rais wetu Zakayo? Uh, uh, unajua uh, Zakayo ni jina ambapo kwamba tumeliona sana tukiangalia usemu ya Biblia. Mm. Na pale katika Biblia yeye alikuwa mtu za ushuru. Mm -hmm. Na nadhani wa Kenya wamekuwa wakimlinganisha sana. Yeah kama mtu za ushuru mm -hmm. kwa sababu uh, tunajua kwamba rais wetu ni mtu ambao kwamba anapenda kanisa sana mm -hmm. so pengine they drived it from there mm -hmm. so maybe yeah. mm -hmm. na, na na mambo na tax mm -hmm. ndio mm -hmm. ndio um, so umesema wewe ni rais wa vijana so who is currently representing gen z ama you know wanasema it's a tribeless um, movement it's a leaderless movement who is representing gen z um, I think as per now, mm -hmm. we do not have a leader mm -hmm. representing Gen Z. Mm -hmm. um, this one, mm -hmm. it's, I can call it, it's a generational revolution. Mm -hmm. And um, any time uh, in history when we have generational um, revolution, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's a wind. Mm -hmm. It's a wind that comes. Mm -hmm. And for now, this wind is called Gen Z. Mm -hmm. And um, it is tribeless. Mm -hmm. It is leaderless mm -hmm. and um, of course it's borderless. We can see how united um, they are and these are young people. Mm -hmm. And um, as a millennial, I can, see I can see it from a distance and I can see it from afar. Mm -hmm. You know, revolution when it's coming up, uh, we, we, millennial. Mm -hmm. if you are one, kuna wakati tulijaribu kuleta change. But for this one, I mean, I salute them and uh, they're doing an amazing. I don't think they have a leader for now. Mimi ni rais wa vijana katika shirika la Kenya Youth Organization. Mm -hmm. So wewe si leader wa Gen Z. Ah, zi, apana, apana. Mimi ni millennial. Mimi si leader wa Gen Z. But uh, I would advise and like recently on that the video that uh, did trend, mm -hmm. I was request, requested to go and probably advise on what would be done. I mean, which is okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Like on in that moment, no yes. requested Dama after that. Yes, that that particular moment. Mm -hmm. But you see, even in the organization that we run, um, it has Gen Zs. Mm -hmm. So as the president, Lazima mm Tawakilisha -hmm. in different platforms here and there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having interacted with so many of them, do they want you know our current president as their president moving forward? Um, as but now on Twitter we've seen a lot of hashtags going on, um, Ruto must go and, and all that. I mean, I, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, whenever you are in a war zone, uh, it's okay for you to strategize and say, okay, I'm handling this particular, um, uh, uh, this is the enemy you're handling. We focus with them. But it, you cannot generalize, you focus with them, you have to focus in one. So what happens? after after we win the war mm -hmm. we re-strategize again mm -hmm. 
and look for the, the next war to win again. So I think if we can have such structure and, and, and strategy, I think we can be able to win as not just as Gen Z, but as youth uh, in general, because what is affecting Gen Z, it's affecting all the youths in Kenya. Yes. Yes. Um, so, Mesema, you know, people need to re-strategize, you know, on the next war. And um, when the protests were going on, it came to a point, I think on Tuesday and the other Thursday, where the protests were infiltrated by goons. And I'm sure you saw that. So, um, and I've seen people saying that we need to re-strategize so that we can go back to the streets and continue protesting. I don't know what your take on that. What's your take on that? Because one, the war is over. The war was over that we were fighting against the finance bill. Now finance bill, it has been rejected and the president has refused to assent. So that war is done. So what next? Can we go now to the next war? Which is, which is the next war? Can we now sit down again and re-strategize and plan how we move from this step to the other one? Yes, because the first war is done. So let's not confuse a lot of wars per moja apana. We want to win. As youths, we won't win. As Gen Z, you won't win. Mm -hmm. We have to, to give time after another mm -hmm. deal. So what is the next thing? In, in like, what is the next thing? Now that the bill has been, you know, dropped, yes. what next? Because I know Kunawenye, maybe they are still not happy with the current state of things, you know. They are still not happy. Now Kunawenye, some of them are like, you know, fine. The, the, the bill has been rejected. Now we want our president to go home. Is that the next war? <laughs> Yeah, I can see the Twitter hashtag is saying so, but um, I want to let the, the, the people know that um, um, as the president said earlier, that uh, there is procedure to be followed. If you want the Ruto must go, it is fine. The use of Kenya, if you want Ruto to go, it is okay. But how does that happen? Can we now get to the right procedure then, if you really want it? Can we go to the right procedure to let him go? And how is he going? Is he resigning? Are we, are we pushing back, uh, taking him to where? Is it Sugoya Mawapi? To Tampeleka? How are you, do, are you planning to do this? As youth, to Napanga Aji. What, what is our plan? So the hashtag in Endele and Dio. But you must remember, there's some procedure. Ya kwamba ni lazima zifuatwe na sheria. So ye mwenyewe hata juzi in the interview, he said kuna sheria mwa kwamba inafakufatwa. So we just don't just do it from Twitter side. Yes, yes. Um, when you did the press with the other young people, you told the president that he had 36 hours to have some form of dialogue with the young people. How is that going? Um, I think it's so going so well because it, we, we were to have uh, an next day. He agreed. That was the first thing he agreed. Now, um, now you know, the, the main aim of this dialogue is because one, what walikuwa mekufa sana, sana, sana during the protests. We've lost a lot of souls and may, may they are, they're so rest in peace. And it's so sad. And some are in the hospital still, bado wanaguza majeraha, which is, which, which, which is so bad. And uh, we cannot be able to continue getting wounded as a nation like this. You know, businesses are closed. Uh, you know, kuna watu mtu alichukua deni na loan, afanya hiyo biashara, ame close, wengine wameibio imeisha. I mean, this is not the Kenya we want. And we know so many countries that surround us and our neighborhood that started like this. Na ikakua worse. And right now they're behind. Talk of the DRC, Ethiopia, wamekua hapa. And, and the, other, uh, the other time I was talking to one of the finance ministers, Ethiopia, and he was telling me, this is, we, we used to be somewhere like where Kenya is right now, and it's not a good place that we are, you, you guys are heading to. So that's why we, we, we felt like, and, and that's my, also my opinion, can we embrace dialogue? Can, can, can we look for a, for, a, for, a, for, a, for a common ground where we can be able to talk and, um, and, and, and strategize in that way, where are we going as a country? Because Kenya is bigger. Mm -hmm. Kenya is bigger than anyone, than the president, than us. Kenya is bigger. So what is kind of generation are we setting up for our children and the children to come? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when this dialogue happens, maybe what, what issues are the young people going to address, you know, when the president comes on board and, you know, he's having dialogues with the young people, what issues will they tackle? Uh, first of all, there are so many issues that um, I said Kenya, it's wounded already. Uh, first of all, the first thing, it's about governance. We have bad governance.
and um and, and that one goes along with mambo na nepotism that is ziko kwa government and also mambo na mambo na uh, corruption it's too much you know taxation you know and all that uh, so i think as young people we're going to focus more on on governance mm -hmm. Yes, and also, you know, um, job creation, and, um, and and there's so many things. There's so many things, but it revolves around the, the governance mm -hmm. and, of course, job uh, opportunity mm -hmm. for young people because we have a lot of graduate, mm -hmm. and that's why you're saying they are not how are choki because at the end of the day, what are we going to do? Sinakazi. Mm so -hmm. I mean, I mean. Neza pata tu nini ni tatafuta kitu kufanya kuna maandamano tuende kuna nini tuende because at the end of the day i do not have something to do and i'm fighting for my right it is okay to fight for our rights and it's okay to have different of, of opinion as young people as youth it is okay but can we now find a common ground where we can be able to resolve to talk engage and negotiate for what uh, we deserve something like that we deserve as young people there is 30 percent of the youth tenders for the young people for the youth for the women and the people living